All right, so today we're gonna make some textures using Midjourney and eventually we're gonna create some patterns out of those because um, these images in Midjourney are like really small size, so you cannot use this as a texture. So we're gonna transform that into a pattern and that eventually can scale it up and multiply in order to create some like large resolution images. So that way we can trick the AI pretty good. So I'm gonna start from the wood. We got like light pink wood texture, seamless. And of course you're gonna need to enter like line line tile. And that way it's gonna create this uh, seamless pattern. I'm gonna also bring it here. And as you can see, if I'm gonna scale it down or scale it up, it's gonna multiply the pattern. Or you got this example. This doesn't look that good, but you get the main idea. You got like gray, grainy, noisy texture, plain background. Okay, so the ending basically is the most important this part we got texture plane background space line line tile if you want to create some solid patterns you know in mid journey 5 then it's good to copy paste this part texture plane background so this way it's going to create like the seamless um plane texture that doesn't have any sort of flaws because uh, i was trying a lot of examples and uh, they they didn't succeed but this in this situation, you can see that it works flawlessly, almost flawlessly. We also got like very light, great texture background. It looks something like this. So also it's pretty nice, but you can see the squares that it's not that perfect still. But anyways, let's go on and see. Let's test out some more if they are accurate. They're not that bad. You can multiply these like six times and probably going to be pretty good. I didn't knew that it's going to have this problem anyways so you also get like wrinkled white paper plain background texture line line tile but this one came out flawlessly so you can check it out if you scale down on small proportions it's perfect so you need to create something that is going to be really really accurate so that takes a little bit more time this also took a little bit more time in order to find the right solution but if you do it more as you can see here this area has this shadow it also has some copyright going on in there and if you scale down it's going to create this uh square look which is not that good so yeah there are like possibilities in there that's for sure this also is good but i'm going to need to test out this prompt even more to see what i can get but this also works pretty good already so this was it thanks for watching